talking about, Allen? Oh, he got trouble off of two. Michael Walter goes around. Yeah, how big's it gonna be? Going, man. Straight Hamilton straight Jr. Straight is involved. That's Jamie McMurray, oh. the 27. Going, and Tim Fiedel comes okay. along. And makes... Yeah, there we see. Be 13. 13. That's what I talked about earlier in the show when I said, when you go down on that guy that's got the... Bow just came off turn two and rushed the wall. And when he did, the right front tire went flat. And when he got to turn three, it would not. Oh, trouble as Park gets together with Tim Fidoa. Trouble quickly in turns three and four. Steve Park and Tim Fidoa bring the pack. Trying to make a pass down on the inside. Oh, no, that was the wrong yellow car. He was back further in there and came out of the pack up against the outside wall and then spins the wrong way. But fortunately, no one hits him, but he does hit the wall pretty hard. Well, that spoiler and trunklet kicked up in the air. That car will be hard to drive, even if they can repair it mechanically. Let's show, let's show. Another driver, his first race here. He's trying to get alongside the 40. A little bit of bump to the left here, and we see that Fido will lose his control. When he saves it, goes in, hits the wall with the front, and then the back. Three and four. Well, we see the tail end. He's already spinning around up the tail end of the crash, and he spins around. Back in, hits the wall, and he comes down on the inside of the race. You can see he's slowing down. He's trying to get down to the inside, and he just, man, he just pulled right down in front of uh, Ashton Lewis. And uh, here comes Tim Fiedel. Tim Fiedel, well, he has to nowhere to go. I'm sure when the car ran out of gas, Hank Parker tried to get down out of the way, knowing that he was going to be in harm. Bottom to top. Four car. And right there is where he makes the contact, spins Gunzelman. He comes down and there makes contact with Kevin Grubb in the 54 car. That's what did the damage. Grubb cannot maintain control of the 54 car, and he spins. Collects Dion Siccarelli, and Tim Fidoa comes in with no place to go and gets the side of Grubb. Man. 50, he sees others beginning to spin and slow down. Dave Blaney and Shane Hall already together. And there came Tim Fidoa. A hard hit. He ends up on his roof. Every driver is fine, but many teams have to go to their back. All right, there we see the 36 car. Ooh, and I don't know what happened to the 82 car, but all of a sudden he goes sideways. That's Musgrave. He makes contact. Michael Walter gets in the back of the 35. Here comes Casey in the left rear of the 82 car. He, he backs off, they go in the corner, and looks like LePage just lost control, going in the corner a little bit. He taps the 40 in the quarter, and around he goes. Boy, Tim Fader. Yeah, it looks like he just lost the car. I didn't see any contact. That's, that's easy to do coming off the second corner over there. Once you start down toward that inside, it feels like it picks up 30 miles an hour. Looks like Butch Miller right behind him, real close there backing it down in the inside wall. We saw him refire the car, but it wouldn't pull off on its own. It really crammed this rear back yeah, in the back. Look at this. Boy, Ryan Newman. Is Whoa, and they touched. Yeah, they did. Oh, Newman got in the middle feet of it. In the outside wall, the 66. Yep. Newman Whoa. got Oh, oh. And that car down on the bottom got tagged hard. Looking like pit road. Casey Kane turned around. Typical Talladega wreck. Yep. Two cars get together, 12, 13 cars end up being victim. Yep. Benson slammed up into the wall and Bliss. Well, watch that 38 car go all the way across pit lane and slam right into it right there. There you see. And uh, he gets Steel. into the four car of Tim Steele, the red car, loses control and backs it hard into the wall. See a lot of other cars coming there, don't know which way to go. They get slowed down as he spins around and up against the outside wall, almost to the outside wall once again. Fido was number 33. We see what happened. Well, already, he'd already lost control by the time Cameron picked it up. Yeah, he was hitting the wall when Fuller got into him. Yeah, when we come out of this, evidently, we will know the answer to that question. Fido goes down in turn one, loses control, backs in the fence, and comes down, and NASCAR throws the car. See, we were showing Dale Jarrett them side by side, and here we see the cars were already been spinning up against the outside wall. 
the yellow car is Speedwell, and the 27 red car is Ward Burton. On the outside. Oh, boy. Man, oh, man. That is going to make John Wood absolutely sick. But we have an onboard camera with the 15 car driven by John Wood. That's what I was getting ready to say. The way he drove into that corner. Talk to me, you okay? Watch this, watch this. Watch the wheel. And as a final insult, Go. the tire. There's Tim Fito getting into the wall. Green is Looks like Mike Cope may have touched right on the left rear of uh, Fito's car. You see him going across this flat racetrack. You don't scrub off any speed when you have a flat surface like this. Very hard into the outside. Blues just as he starts out of the corner. Knocking feet away to the outside of the wall there. Watch this. He climbs almost over Setzer's car and around he goes. Feet away got a lot of damage off the wall there on the right side of that car. They were really have to work. Away supercuts on board. See the 58 ran up after he was hit by the 21 and ran into Tim. Absolutely nothing Tim could do about it. Now you're going to mm, see him hit the outside wall there. Little sound effect there really gave you an idea how hard that hit was the super Bodine is the slim jim driver there is Fido his car and Bodine the contact LePage is there boy Ed Barrier did a great job to get the next pack starts running into each other and you'll see them start running into each other right here they kick the 59 out of out of position here all of a sudden the racetrack is blocked you can't see anything you're driving in there blind and everybody runs over everybody, and there's no Outside place for it. Kirk Shelmerdine, and he goes in and makes contact with Shelmerdine. Yeah, there's no way to go into that turn at full speed, three abreast. And trying to avoid the circumstance. And there we have Spencer into the 12. Justin Labonte is able to squeak by, as well as uh, 47. Uh, I know this. Robert Presley. Blake Fleet. Oh, oh, that's we ran into is. the okay. 14 car of Casey Atwood. What the inside wall? That's his teammate, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. Double damage. What a great job he's doing. Well, he just got her a little loose off turn two there. Comes right back Whoa. up and hits Tim Fedor. Car number oh, 33, Mark, Mark Martin, tries to dodge him in the car 60, and he cut it a little bit too sharp. Yeah. And then lost control up onto the outside wall, and then bounces back down into the grass. Boy, that's, that's a familiar sight. Uh, you could see the uh, Kelly Denton just lose the back end of the 75 car. He goes around and up into the, you. Everybody else is along for the ride there. They're running through a lot of smoke there. They're on the brakes. You see nowhere to go. Yeah. It reminds me of the Winston last Saturday night. We all had our big crash. One guy goes down and takes the whole field with them. And evidently the truck As they come around and you can see the one of the yellow cars got crossways and then another yellow car hit him with cipher those out in a moment see who it was and then the car started going everywhere and the car took off up the hill and i think it took him by surprise whoa man that thing fortunately it came back saying, down sorry guys here's what happened yeah uh, fish line didn't cause that <laughs> he was on the outside all right but uh looked like feet got into him as they got down there toward, toward turn one tried to widen out yeah, he was trying to get a that, little better. Yeah, he was trying to get the good angle into turn one there. He was faster than the fish line, but he just didn't have a just didn't have the position. Lap 41 on your chart. Lap 41 is when this caution comes out, which is the third of the way. But it, it boxes up the car behind, and there we see the 15 of Gilchrist and the 77 make contact. And here comes set 25 of Kenny Walsh runs into the 77. Meanwhile, Lazar on the McDonald's car. Uh, Ron Hornaday's involved. Here comes Harvick in the back of who the, that. Uh, I guess that's a 43 car of Jay Sauter. Jay Sauter. Keller has parked his car along pit road. Spin. Tom Pat turn three and ooh riser. Larry Pearson got in the middle of that too. Yep. Dirk Stevens has to go around. First call. Tim Fedor. Whoa. Mike Wallace. It's Robbie Gordon in the 55 there in the middle of that. Oh, there it is. There we go. 
Tamfita with a 12 car. Oh, and, and the 5 Kyle and the five Bush. Bush is involved. And this is why it's so big that that team got the 8 car back out on the track. I guess the wreck, there we see the cars. Oh, he's, he comes up the racetrack, makes contact with Lyndon Amick in the 35 car. Almost saves it, but finally it swerves back. Goes around and bam, it's the left front and the rear hard in the wall. Moments ago. Dick Trickle gets together with the 43 car of Jay Sauter. Oh, there's, the wreck's going on already. LaJoy comes up and bam, Trickle, all that damage to Trickle's car is in the left side of LaJoy's car. So Trickle was trying to get up across the racetrack. He must have seen the one car spinning. He had nowhere to go because there were two cars to his outside. And he tagged the one car of LaJoy right in the door. That's the 35 car of Linda Namick, the black and white car that you see there, Casey Atwood, drives through. They got together, come in right up to the, the first little dog leg, pinned each other against the wall right here. They moved out. Ward Burton was right behind him. The two car avoided him. But then, watch here, he's going to slam back in that side. Look, coming at Terry Labonte coming across the grass. Several of the cars cut across the apron there, trying to stay out of the way. Bumpers and feet of Got down the corner and just got, looked like he got in the corner a little bit too hard as he tried to stay in front of Johnny Sauter in the 27. Now we see the 77 car, get, he gets spun, and Buckshot runs in the back of the 36 car. And Tim Fiedler, he's having a tough, tough time this weekend. In action it up in between turns two and three, Benny. And ten cars involved. The blue car, that's Mike Garvey. The 75 car that's in the side of him is Doug Hebron. And boom, along comes, is that the 63 car or the one car? The white, that's 63, Jim Baum that nails Garvey right in the side. And meanwhile, we're going to see other cars come spinning in. There's another car that comes, that's, that's Roy Payne. Uh, the red car, I can't really tell the number on that. Ooh, look at Mike Wallace go down. And the 74, Johnny Benson comes in. That's Chad wow. Jackson. Let's watch it from Fedewa's view. In front of you, in front of you, in front of you. Stay, uh, we got hit in the rear. Trying to break away. Everybody else is trying to find a place in line, and big trouble in the air. Goes Mark Martin on his roof. I know that Ward is Burton. not. It is Ward Burton, excuse me. Jim Bound is in the wall. Phil Parsons has spun. Tommy Houston spins. And it's a German car down on the bottom. No, actually, yeah. He, no, he just got loose there. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought would have happened, too, but... He did it in front of a lot of cars. And you see Randy LaJoy, I guess, gets tagged from behind, turned around right in front of the 12 of Fidua. You see him get sideways off now. He's already sideways there. And as you can see, he's into Ashton Lewis, which puts him into uh, Tim Fidua. He came through that corner on the outside of Joan Nemechek, but no evidence of contact between